hello guys as evident as the title says this video is mostly going to be about showing my pokerex progress and mass evolution spree so let me show you my pokerex very quickly obviously i have everything catchable in gen 1 i mean not everything catchable excluding the obvious region exclusive i don't have farfetched saw so one in gym i don't have kangaskhan saw so in gym i don't have mr mime not even seen in gyms and then i have taurus also seen in gyms and obviously three legendaries are not available anymore okay so i don't have fluffy ampharos togetic that's coming in this video I still don't have a giraffe so one in gym. Looking for a giraffe nest, I don't have King Dryad. And I don't have obviously Tyranitar and Pupitar. Well, that. Okay, obviously I don't have uh, Unown and Heracross. Heracross is a region exclusive and Unown being the rarest species in pokemon go right now but i have something exciting to share i have corsolas seen 48 caught 41 we get plenty of corsolas around here and some of them even spawn right where i am so i mean that's the most of my pokedex progress so let's start the mass evolution let's go and evolve right away so this is the first time i'm going to do a mass evolution spree after the easter event and also this is the first time i'll be recording very quickly so let's start I I still don't have a female alakazam not that it matters but also one important thing to note is that I still don't have alakazam with good moveset I mean with two psychic movesets I have two alakazams already this is this will be my third one I'm looking for one with psycho cut or confusion and future sight so anything with future sight and I would be happy. Can I be successful? Let's see. Oh no, that's ridiculous. Ah, that hurt. Ah, oh god, that sucked badly. Oh gosh, damn. So it will take me another 100 more candies, total 125 but I have spare ones so it will take me another 100 candies to get another alakazam. Oh they are pretty hard to get for me in this area, I mean it's not as rare as Snorlax but obviously Abras are not that common around me. Oh god. So this is 84% Chikorita. Although it has low CPM, the reason why I'm evolving is because I want to have good prestigers out of this mass evolution spree. So I'll be evolving a couple of low CP mons because I want to have good movesets under 1000 CP. So I hope this will be around 800 to 900 CP and it gets Petal Blizzard or Solar Beam. Solar Beam would be the killer but even Petal Blizzard is something I'm, I'll be okay with. Let's see what movesets does the Meganium get. Okay Petal Blizzard I'm fine with this 800 and Lantern is a very good prestige so i'll be okay with anything with two water type moves or two electric moves i mean i'll be more happy rather happier with two electric moves rather than two water type moves because water types are already 
pretty dominant in this game. Ah, uh, that sucked. Uh, that's rather useless. I already have a couple of Marowax. I mean, Marowax, uh, rather Cubones were pretty common in my area. But after Gen 2, the spawn rate has decreased a bit. So I don't get them so too often in Desert Biome. Oh god, that's disappointing. Bone Club was a disappointing move. Okay, I'm evolving this Doduo only for XP. So, Steelwing Brave Bird would be a good moveset. But I already have a couple of them with these movesets. Oh, and that is what I got. Maybe I'll keep it. Okay, so this is going to be exciting. I want this evolution to be... Vaporeon with Hydro Pump or Jolteon with Thunder or Flareon with Overheat. This has 96% IVs and it has only 357 CP meaning oh Jolteon. So I just hope it gets Thunder. Yes! Yes! I know Volt Switch is not that fast move but still I mean Thunder is ultimately the killer but I'm kind of disappointed because its CP went over 1100. Okay, but still usable while prestiging. Not that disappointing. Okay, let's move on. Acid Sludge Wave. I already have plenty of Ekans, uh, Arbok, I mean. Okay, so this execute has pretty high CP and it will most likely end up with an executor about 2000 CP. Not quite sure if I'm going to power up this, but if it has solar beam, I might not. Ah, uh, that doesn't look like a good moveset combination. I don't know why I'm evolving this new just for XP, but if I get solar beam on executor I'll be very happy to power it up I mean oh I have been powering all the defensive executor so far okay extra sensory solar beam that's very good and this goldine is just for XP so no expectations from Mosets. well I was talking that I have been powering up all the defensive type executors but not the offensive ones like the one that has solar beams so now that Blissey and Snorlax are killer in gym defenders I might just think of powering up an executor with solar beam well that's good So the introduction of Blissey gave me a motivation to power up my executor with solar beam. Swing attack, sky attack, okay. Okay, so I still don't have jump luff with two grass type moves. Looking for solar beam ideally. Let's see. I have already evolved a couple of jump luffs before but don't have two with don't have anyone with two grass type moves okay so this is going to be my first male jump luff again not that it matters but just curious okay so hopefully two grass moves ah oh, that sucks man oh that was disappointing Houndors are not so common even in desert biomes. I mean, Growlits were more dominant. But Houndor is not so common. This is, I think, only my third Houndum. Oh, yes! This is the Houndum I was looking for. 
I didn't have one any houndoom with usable movesets but with this I have fire fang fire blast that's very usable I'm happy with this moveset now let's see what I get on kabutops rock smash and shin power not sure where I'll use it Krabby, I mean, I just evolved Krabby's for XP, no other reason. I have saved 3 to 4 Kinglers with 2 water type moves, but mm, not that exciting. Lediba, only for grinding XP, not that usable at all. Okay, two bug type moves, but I already have plenty of ladians with two bug type moves. Okay, so this time I'm looking for anything with hydro pump, bubble or rock smash. Both are good with hydro pump. If it gets rock smash and hydro pump, I can use it to prestige against Blissey. But still, bubble and hydro pump is something I'll be happy with. Not too, just for experience. I mean, there is no incentive, rather motivation to use Zatu against any other Pokemon. Psychic and flying, interesting type of Pokemon, but still not that useful. I mean, it will be double effective against fighting types, yes, fighting types, but still, there are much better options than using Zatu. Nidoran. I'm going all the way to Nido Queen. Again, I just evolve Nidorans for XP because I just get plenty of them and I have a couple of Nido Kings and Nido Queens with decent movesets. So that's it. I just evolve them for XP now. So no expectations from this Nido Queen. Bite earthquake, not that it matters. Okay. So I'm looking for a Bellosum right now. Hopefully the Bellosum I get will have solar beam. I think it can learn solar beam. Because the earlier Bellosum I had did not get a satisfactory moveset. Okay, so I have a spare Sunstone. Let's see if I get lucky with this Bellosum. Okay. Here comes. Ah! I think I had Acid and Leaf Blade for the earlier Bellosum. Not sure if I can use this moveset anywhere else. I mean, Sun Flora is pretty good. The one I have, I think it comes with Petal Blizzard, but still very good in terms of attack stats. Ah, oh, not that exciting. Okay, the reason why I'm evolving this Pidgeotto is because it has pretty high CP and high IVs. I don't remember the exact IVs, but it definitely has pretty good ones. So let's see if I get lucky with Hurricane or Brave Bird. Ah, no, I wasn't lucky. So before I mass evolve these multiple PGs, I just want to get a new Pokedex entry right now. So this 96% Togepi is going to be a Togetic. And obviously it's going to be a new entry in my Pokedex. Evolving this Togepi out of order because again I didn't want to miss this out. Nice new entry to Pokedex. Woo! Extra sensory aerial is. I mean, uh, it already had not so good movesets, so not 
I did not have any expectations at all from this Togetic, to be honest. Okay, now just the mass evolutions of PG. Okay, so I'm done evolving PGs. So let's evolve this pine coat just for XP again. Not that for a tress has any usable moosets, but just for grinding XP. I mean, I don't see a lot of pine cores, but I did manage to catch a wild for a tress. Struggle bug earthquake. Okay. So let's get a polytoad again. I mean, I already had three polytoads. I happened to transfer one of them because it did not make any sense for me to keep three of them and still I'm evolving another one not sure why maybe because I have a spare king's rock so I'm into the last 10 minutes of this mass evolution spree Hopefully, I can get this list completed within time. Mudshot Hydrobomb, that is actually okay. Let's evolve this Ratata pretty quickly for XP. I mean, not sure if I'm gonna keep this Raticate if it gets Quick Attack and Hyper Beam. Not sure. Because one thing it doesn't have... Okay, it doesn't have good moveset as well. I was about to say it doesn't have good IVs or CP but it still is not usable at all. Let's get this Remoraid evolved into Octillery. Water Gun and Water Pulse is the only usable moveset it gets but again you have better water types. Water Gun Gunshot not that useful. Evolving this Sand Shrew just because I want to have a sand slash with mud shot and an earthquake somewhere around 800 to 1000 CP. I'm guessing it would go to 850 to 900 maybe. Oh, I overestimated the CP. Anyways, it doesn't, it did not get good moveset, so it doesn't really matter. Again, evolving this center just for XP. Okay, did not get quick attack and hyper beam. I mean, I know, I know I'm getting this evolution speed. I've been slower than what I should be. What I should be? I don't know. What, what I'm I shouldn't have been this slower. Okay, evolving this slugma to get two rock type or two fire type mosets. It's an actually interesting combination, however, it has double weakness to water types because both rock and fire are weak. Ember and Stone Age, ah, oh, I wish I had got lucky. Yeah. The next set is pretty interesting. I get ton of star use around where I live. so. I love to get star meets with water gun and hydro pump to be honest. I just love when star me attacks with its hydro pump and that actually is a killer. Yes! Killer moveset! Yes! Hope all the other lower IV ones, uh, lower CP ones also get equally lucky. And recently Starmie gets to learn hidden power as well so that makes things a little interesting but again water gun hydro pump is still the best water gun psychic mm -hmm. ah. now I didn't want this I mean lower CP ones should have got water gun and hydro pump because I would love to have a good water type prestige around 7 to 900 
yes 428 mm, not sure how useful that will be but interesting or rather ironically oh what just happened ouch what's the lag I evolved it come on come on oh no oh no I, I still have five minutes oh no do I have to restart the game oh no oh god oh no okay it was evolving but why did it lag in the first place so as I was saying I have I did say I, that water type Pokemon are pretty common around me however I don't have good water type prestigious under 1000 CP I mean I do have a Blastoise a couple of uh, sorry war turtles with water gun and hydro pump that serve the purpose but still I uh, considering the abundance of water type Pokemon in this meta I should have had many more okay let's see if I can get counter and close combat ah why did I get the same moveset on the others I think I have three to four minutes and evolving this Toto dial so that I can get a Peralligator with water gun and hydro pump around 800 ish CP but considering the possibilities of the movesets that a Feraligator gets the odds are very low but no luck can change at any time let's see what my fortune reveals can I get hydro pump ah no I'm not that lucky okay so this is for sure going to be hit on top because as far as my memory is concerned this one has the best HP stats oh okay it's the other one I guess I was wrong pardon me rock smash close combat very very good I'm very happy with this okay so I believe this is the one that is going to be a hit on top okay let's see if I get lucky with more sets honestly I don't remember what more sets a hit on top can have not sure if it can get close combat ah that was disappointing okay nevertheless let's see what movesets I get on nine tails it recently got to learn solar beam which is terrible I mean good as a defender but it doesn't have good enough CP to be placed in gyms faint attack overheat ah okay before I go further let me get another Quagsire will it get usable movesets not quite sure ok so I am running out of time less than a minute left for me to evolve stuff so let's get this done pretty quickly okay so evolution spree is done and I got 70,000 XP what and my GPS drifted but that's very underwhelming man oh, and overall I'm not so satisfied with movesets I got anyways thanks for joining this mass evolution spree hope you guys enjoyed it and if you enjoyed leave a like and put your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.